Hello everyone, in this video, I will discuss about a logger framework which is specially developed for C++. You can use this C++ logger in any of your C++ projects to maintain logs. So let's look on using this framework. Firstly, there are different levels of log messages available. I have listed all the log messages here with increasing priority. Now, whenever you set a log level, all the messages from log level having priority equal to and greater than the set log level are printed. For example, if I set my log level to log level debug, then all the log messages from log level debug, log level alarm, error, and always are printed. Now, enable log will enable all the log levels, while disable log will disable all the log levels except for log alarm error and always you can set log level to any one of these log levels now there are three types of logs available no log in case you don't want to log anything console this prints the log messages to the console and file log this prints the log to a file now this mechanism also supports log rotation mechanism log rotation mechanism is nothing but a mechanism to restrict the size of our log file and the number of log files that will be created for example if i set the log file size to 2 kb and maximum log files to 3 then suppose i have a log file named my log dot log and if this exceeds 2 kb then my my log file will be compressed and renamed to my log one dot gz and a new my log file will be created now in case even if this file exceeds 2 kb then my my log one file will be renamed as my log two and my current my log file will be compressed and renamed as my log one dot gz and a new log file will be created now in case even if this file exceeds 2 kb we have reached the maximum limit of our log files so my log file 2 will be deleted my my log file 1 will be renamed as my log 2 and my my log file will be compressed and renamed as my log 1 and a new my log file will be created as we see here we need to set four parameters that is the log level the log type the size of log file and the maximum number of log files to be created now all these can be set using a configuration file now this framework uses a config reader framework which is specially defined for reading configuration files for c plus plus so here is the config file we just need to set the log level log type the maximum number of log files and the log size now let's look on the ways of printing log messages one is using the macros so as you can see this is a log error macro similarly there are macros available for all the log levels or you can create an instance it is to be noted that the logger class uses a singleton pattern that is only one instance of the class will be maintained throughout the program so this is how you get the instance of the class and these are the interfaces provided by the class for logging messages this framework also supports an output string string object as shown here and since it uses a singleton pattern this is another way of logging your messages now let's run our program to see how our log framework works let me compile all the files that is my logger file the config reader file and my main file now let us link all the files Let me name my output output file as log.out 
we need to also link the pthread library okay so let's first set our configuration file so let me set the log link to enable log my log type to file log and my maximum log files to 4 and my log size to say 2000 bytes now let us run our program so we see that two log files have been created this is my latest log file and this is another zipped log file As you can see, now all the logs have been printed to the console. A log file has been created, but it is empty. Now there are also interfaces available so that we can update our log loggers functionality anytime during the program. Let us try some of those. So this will enable file logging and this will set the log level to disable log. Now uh, our configuration file has enable log and log type as console. Uh, so what will happen is until this point all the messages would be printed in the console and all types of log messages would be printed whereas after this point all the log messages would be printed in our file and the log level type is disable log so log messages only from alarm error and always would be printed so let's try this So as we can see, half of the log messages have been printed to the console and all the types of log messages have been printed, whereas even a log file, only log messages from error, always and alarm have been printed. The interface which we will try is updating our log file size and the number of log files to be created now this will work same as the previous one with just our log file size with a limit of 500 bytes so let's try So as you can see the output is same as the previous one but now two log files have been created and the size is limited to 500 bytes. So this was all about the logger mechanism. You can find the source code of the logger and the config file in the description. Thank you.